Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, digital infrastructure, and the networks within. And we are coming to you live from Times Square in New York. It's jumping here, baby. New York. Jumping here. Um, yeah. At DCD Connect. And I'm here with Mr. Peter Panfill. Peter is the VP of Global Power for Vertiv. Peter, yeah. welcome to JSA hey, TV. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Of course. Really appreciate it. And you know, it's really jumping here. I, I've been coming to Data Center Dynamics here for a, for 20 years. Yeah. And I, I talked to a colleague and I said, can you believe it? We used to fit down in the in the foyer downstairs, <laughs> and now we take up three floors, full full exhibit hall. And the floor jumping, is as jumping, packed jumping. right now as it was at you know eleven o'clock yes. this morning. So jumping, there is a lot going on. And, but um, so let's talk about Verda a little bit, shall we? Okay, sure. okay let's do it. Uh, uh, we we don't let anybody leave the table until they've talked about AI. So uh, you're you're going to be no different. But um, let's talk about it as it relates to putting pressure on the grid. What yeah. is AI doing to the power source? So our customers right now um, they're facing these dual disruptions at the same time. Mm -hmm. Normally, disruptors disruptions happen one at a time. We can deal with it. We figure out what the what the solution is to it. We implement it. We go on to the next generation. We're seeing decarbonization mm -hmm. and, and the challenges of availability of power. Yeah. At the same time, we're seeing an explosion in the use of <laughs> AI compute and the demand on AI compute. Mm -hmm. And I believe whatever numbers you want to believe. All I can all I know is there's an incredible pressure to increase the, the amount of compute being done with AI. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna change the way we live life. And I know there's people that are nervous about AI. I'm not. Nay, nay, I, mean, I, I. I, I say bring it on. Yes. I, I think I think AI is gonna change the way we do things. It's gonna get rid of the mundane pieces of life and let us focus we are on literally, the creativity. We're ending, we're ending these interviews how we began because I could not agree with you more, Peter. Good, good. It, it, it is a societal, a cultural shift yeah. and it's happening right now. And the yeah. people in this room are responsible That's for right. it. That's you, right. Peter, are responsible for it. Well, so so I told you there's two disruptors, yeah. right? Um, I'll call it pre-Rona. So Rona and I, it's COVID-19, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, yeah, coronavirus. Yeah, yeah. Rona. You know, so Rona and I, we, we, we know each other really well. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. um, so before Rona, this industry was focused on utilization, efficiency, block size, uh, fail small technologies. Through Rona, when we had so many decarbonization commitments being made mm -hmm. by big players, by big, big companies, mm -hmm. and virtually every, every corporate uh, entity has some form of sustainability commitments that they're going to be, yeah. and I don't care what your politics are. Let's decarbonize. Yeah. I don't care. I don't. Uh, Whether you believe it's true or not, it's the right let's, thing let's, to do. Let's decarbonize. So, along along that path of decarbonization, um, the utilities are saying, "Well, we're not going to give you the power that you're asking us for," mm -hmm. um, and and. The example I give to my people is that's like painting you in a corner. Yeah. Right. Our customers are painted into a corner now. They've got nowhere to go. Uh, they, they go to their utility and their utility says, well, I can see giving you some power in 2030, <laughs> maybe 2035. Yeah. You know, and get in line. Yeah. Get in line. And no matter what, they're not adding the capacity, the, the generating capacity. They're not, they're really not improving the infrastructure to deliver their power mm -hmm. um, more efficiently. So what's, what, what's gotta be done is we gotta do it on our own. And, and so bring your own power is something that we've talked about at Vertiv yeah. for at least the last year, uh -huh. uh, if not longer. And it's, and it's, a, it's a mentality. Um, it, a bring your own power is a mentality. It, it's, it's using the critical infrastructure in a way that you're not used to using it today. Yeah. Um, most of our customers use their critical infrastructure only in time of emergency, yeah. right? The utility fails, I go over the generator, uh, I bridge through the battery, the generator comes online, I walk in the generator, I run on generator till the utility recovers, I reverse that. Yeah. What if we don't turn on the generator? 
what if we run on an, an extended duty battery for longer periods of time? Can I reduce my generator starts? If I can reduce my generator starts, that really helps me in my, along my decarbonization path. Yeah. And then I got to think about it. What kind of generator am I going to use? Am I going to use a diesel generator? Am I going to use a natural gas generator? Am I going to use a hydrogen-based generator? Pick the technology that makes the most sense for you and your environment and you and your physical location, yeah. right? Yeah. And then once you've got that technology, use the hell out of it. How does something so simple sound so innovative? Well, because for the most part, and, 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 and I, I talked to lots of customers yeah. for a long time. I was, I've been in critical space now for about 40 years, mm -hmm. okay? And this is the most disruptive period I can remember yeah. in my entire career. I've been about 30 years, yeah. so, and, and honestly, this is a, a watershed moment for us. Yes. It really yes. is, yeah. And so, and so what we say to our, to our customers is, we gotta, we gotta meet you halfway, yeah. right? Um, it's, it's, it's that joke, you know, meet me halfway, buy a ticket, right? Yeah. Um, we've got to give them the levers to pull. They, we've got to give them energy storage that they can call on on demand whenever they want to stay on that energy storage for as long as they want to yeah. decide, do I start my generator? Do I hold off on my generator? What generator am I starting? Or am I doing something with a battery energy storage system or with a fuel cell? to supplement the generating capacity that I get from my utility. And, and each one, each customer is gonna be unique in their requirements yeah. and unique in the way they approach that, but we've gotta give them the tools. And, yeah. and, and as an infrastructure provider, we're starting to give our customers the tools that are gonna allow them to do those kinds of things and make those kinds of choices. I love it. Peter, thank you very much. Oh, wait. Peter, you're contributing to the... Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. This all makes sense now, yeah, Peter. I got a chapter in there. Yeah, yeah. outstanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot yeah. wait to read it. Yeah. Um, and thank you so much for contributing to it. And that. by the way, I, it just poured out of me. I mean, you know, you... you, you I, when, I don't when, believe it for a second. Yeah, no, no. They no poured, they I do believe it. <laughs> so, so, you know, when, 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 when I was invited, by the way, I, I, I'm honored to be invited. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, and, and they said, well, what would you... what?" What would you like to cover? And I said, we've got to we've got to get the message out on bring your own power. Yeah, I've talked to, I ta I, I presented at a lunch uh, here yesterday, and the customer said, nobody's talking to us about this. No, where can I get this information from? Yeah. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna redouble my effort both internally and with our our team as well as efforts like the book the ebook that's going to try and get that message out to customers and say, you know, you've got some options. You got, you, you, you don't feel painted into a corner. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll get through this. Peter, the world needs more innovators like you. Uh, oh, people who, <laughs> people who see the world around them and are making the best use of what's here so that the future is brighter. My job is two ears and one mouth. <laughs> my job, my job, no, seriously, my job is listen to what my customers are saying. What are their pain points? listen to what they're saying and then noodle it up. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, you know, I, my wife always makes fun of me cause you can tell I'm thinking about something <laughs> and I'm going like this, you know, it's like, okay, what are you thinking about now? Yeah. Oh man, I'm trying to figure out something. Yeah. Um, and then noodle up what solutions make sense for customers that help, <clears throat> help them deliver available solutions. Got it. Peter, thanks so much for being here. Thanks. You bet. Appreciate you bet. it. Yeah. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. Stay connected, stay curious like my friend Peter here, and we'll see you soon.